A very good morning to you dear children. How was your week? I am so glad to see you today, the first Sunday in May, 2021. Happy new month to you all. Our last topic was cry for restoration. And we studied the book of Lamentation chapter 5, verses 1 to 7, and 15 to 21. Our topic for today is truth and power. And we study the book of 1 Kings chapter 22, verses 13 to 14, 17 to 23, and 26 to 28. Joshua will read for us. 1 Kings chapter 22 verses 13 and 14. 13 Then the messenger who had gone to call Micaiah spoke to him, saying, Now listen, the words of the prophets with one accord encourage thee king. Please, let your word be like the word of one of them, and speak encouragement. 14 And Micaiah said, As the Lord lives, whatever the Lord says to me, that I will speak. Verses 17 to 23. 17 Then he said, I saw all Israel scattered on the mountains, as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, These have no master. Let each return to his house in peace. 18 And the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell you he would not prophesy good concerning me, but evil? 19 Then Micaiah said, Therefore hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing by, on his right hand and on his left. 20 And the Lord said, Who will persuade Ahab to go up, that he may fall at Ramoth Gilead? So one spoke in this manner, and another spoke in that manner. 21 Then a spirit came forward and stood before the Lord, and said, I will persuade him. 22 The Lord said to him, In what way? So he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said, You shall persuade him, and also prevail. Go out and do so. 23 Therefore look, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets of yours, and the Lord has declared disaster against you. And verses 26 to 28. 26 So the king of Israel said, Take Micaiah, and return him to Amon the governor of the city and to Joash the king's son. 27 And say, Thus says the king, Put this fellow in prison, and feed him with bread of affliction and water of affliction, until I come in peace. 28 But Micaiah said, If you ever return in peace, the Lord has not spoken by me. And he said, Take heed, all you people. Thank you Joshua. Today's lesson is message from God. To encourage us speak the truth at all times. Irrespective of the circumstances around us at that time. Speaking the truth always means being honest at all times. Irrespective of the personalities involved, or the challenging circumstances that one is facing. This attribute is found in Proet Micaiah, on whom our lesson of today centers on. The Bible passage we read tell us about Prophet Micaiah, who was a prophet of God. He ministered during the reign of King Ahab. There were also many prophets at that time whom the king had prepared to tell him precious prophecies of pretense. They were false prophecies, but pleasing to the king's personality. At a certain time, King Ahab of Israel asked King Jehoshaphat of Judah to join him in a war against the Aramines. King Ara hated Prophet Micaiah because he was always speaking the truth to the people in power. But he liked other prophets who would tell him false prophecies because they were pleasing to his ears. King Ahab sent for Prophet Micaiah to know the mind of God concerning the war he wanted to go with King Jehoshaphat of Judah. Many prophets had given false prophecies though they were what the king wanted to hear. Prophet Micaiah faced the temptation of joining and confirming the untruthful prophecies of various false prophets who were deceiving the king. According to the word of Prophet Micaiah, he determined to speak the truth as long as the Lord lives. This implies that he would speak the truth forever because God lives forever. Therefore, dear sons and daughters of the Most High, determined to speak the truth as long as the Lord lives. The determination helped Prophet Micaiah to speak the truth always. He was known and he feared for it. Prophet Micaiah told the king the mind of God concerning the war. The prophecy was different from what others had said earlier, and was not pleasing to the king. The king ignored the prophecy and went for the war. That was how he met his destruction at the war. Of a truth, most people love to hear what is pleasant in their ears. But we must stand and be known for the truth, even if it is not pleasant in people's ears. Kathy should tell our take-home from today's lesson. Our take-home from today's lesson are 1. 
God wants us to courageously speak the truth in all situations. 2. The people in authority need to hear the truth from us. 3. If we will always speak the truth, we must not yield to any ungodly counsel. 4. Speaking the truth may attract some punishments from people. We must be ready to bear it in order to gain God's approval and acceptance. 5. God wants us to speak only what he says without fear of favor from men. Very good. Thank you, Kathy. Dear children, have you been joining the lures around you to tell liars for some reason? Remember that all liars shall go to hell. Repent now and come back to God, so that you can have eternal life. Our memory verse is in 1 Kings chapter 22 verse 14. And Micaiah said, As the Lord lives, whatever the Lord says to me, that I will speak. Williams should pray for us. Our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the grace to always hear from you. Our Father, we declare today that we do not want to contribute to lies and deception of our time. We want to be truthful to you and mankind at all times. Lord I pray that you give us the grace to always speak the truth at all times. Even when it is difficult. In Jesus name I have prayed. Amen. Bye dear children. I love you. Have a blessed week ahead.